Very event in the morning, the CEO of the Nelson Mandela Foundation, Siloha Tang, let slip uh, that the wife of the minister had just uh, recently given birth to a baby boy, so we congratulate them on that. Now, the 30th anniversary of, the Nelson, Ma of Nelson Mandela's release from prison uh, will be commemorating by, commemorated rather by opening the Mandela Multipurpose, Mandela Multipurpose Exhibition Centre. Our colleague uh, Simpua Makanya is standing by to tell us what is happening where he is. Simpua, very good morning to you. Uh, what's happening where you are? Morning, Desiree. Good morning to the viewers of the agenda. Desiree, as you put it there in your intro, we are standing just outside the uh, huge structure of the uh, Man Nelson Mandela Multi-Purpose Exhibition Center. We've been inside the premises of the uh, structure itself, Desiree. I can tell you that inside you find a lot of information, not only about the former statesman, but about the history of South Africa. And if you talk about the history of the former statesman, Dr. Nelson Mandela, you cannot, uh, Desiree, omit the area of Howick, because we know that uh, a, on, the, on the 5th of August in 1962, he was apprehended here by the apartheid regime. But to talk to us more about what we can expect uh, from today, I'm joined by the Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, MEC, in Guazul Natal, MEC Sopochlomuga. MEC, thank you very much for your time. The importance of having this in this very uh, place where we are. Well, uh, good morning. Uh, I think we have already uh, started indicating that today we were celebrating the 30 years when the president, former president uh, Nelson Mandela was released and then on the 5th of August 1962 uh, President Mandela was uh, arrested here uh, was uh, driving with uh, Comrade Will Williams and they were going to uh, report their activities, of uh, political activities to the uh, former president uh, President Edwin while he was, was arrested here. Hence, uh, the provincial government, we decided that let's uh, build something here. Hence, we are building a multi-purpose uh, 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 centre. Uh, there is a museum here. There is a number of uh, uh, information that we can get here. Information about Nelson Mandela, information about the history of, 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 of South Africa and also the history of, of Guazulu Natal. Hence, there are a number of... Uh, there is a national minister of tourism is here also because they are also contributing. They have contributed... Uh, uh, to, uh, to build this uh, uh, multi-purpose uh, exhibition centre. Also, I want to thank the pre pre predecessor, MEC Dube, who was passionate about this uh, uh, building, this uh, uh, multi-purpose centre. Because I came after they've already built it, we try to ensure that it's open so that the tourists, because tourists they are coming here, but it was not officially opened. Okay, all right. MEC, how much did this uh, huge structure cost the department? is costed uh, provincial coverage plus or minus 20 uh, million. But we are also coming because the National uh, uh, Tourism uh, Department, they have already contributed 12, uh, 12 million in this coming financial year. Then the Department of HR, they are going to continue building. It will going to grow uh, 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 this multi-purpose uh, uh, exhibition center. Is it going to be accessible to everyone though? I see there are prices that are, are on display there, uh, so people have to pay to get inside. Yes, you know, we also want to uh, ensure that we continue to build and to maintain. Maintenance is very expensive, but everyone is welcome to come and see the history of South Africa, the history of uh, uh, President Mandela, and the history of KwaZulu Natal. So everyone is allowed to come here. You will just pay. It's not uh, too much that we are, uh, we are going to pay here. Like we are paying when we will visit other uh, a mu museum. Even you go to overseas, you pay for visiting in some areas. Okay. Let me see, the, the, the point though beyond the opening of this museum is about the issue of the legacy of the former statesman. Do you think that the current crop of leaders are emulating that legacy? Indeed, indeed. The current uh, leadership that we have uh, leading the country, like the president, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, is doing well. Remember, uh, President uh, Ramaphosa is part of the uh, people who contributed in this freedom that we, we, we are doing. He was part of the freedom fighters and he's still continuing where Mandela uh, left.
MSC, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. There was the MEC for Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs in Guazulu Natal, MEC Suipotlo Muga, saying that today they will be officially opening this multi purpose exhibition center. It contains uh, the history of this country, the history of the former statesman Dr. Nelson uh, Mandela, who became a global icon, not just a South African, you know, uh, former statesman, but he ended up being a global icon. So today they are celebrating the life and the legacy of the former statesman as we commemorate the 60th, uh, the 30th rather, anniversary of his release from prison. Desiree, back to you in Johannesburg.